Howdy. I'm going to talk today about divide by one digit divisors. To start out with, the divisor is this number that goes right here. Okay? This end is our dividend. Up top is where our answer is. Fancy name for that is quotient. Okay? So we have our divisor dividend, answer, which is also known as a quotient. And once in a while, if there's anything left, we have a remainder. All right, that's pretty much the basics of it. Now in division, there's no simple way. If I, as I've looked it up, I found the easiest way to do a step-by-step -step is to go with D, M, S, B. D is for divide, M is for multiply, S is subtract, and B is bring down. Okay, good way to remember this is daddy, mother, sister, brother. So here's an example of daddy, mother, sister, brother, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. The first thing you need to do is divide. Okay, so this 5, does it go into 3? Well, obviously, 5 is bigger than 3. You can't fit 5 into 3. So instead, we look to the next number. So we're just going to keep it simple. And we're only going to look 5 into 31. Okay? So can 5 fit into 31? The answer is yes. Not exactly. There might be some left over, but it does fit. So we go how many times? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, if I go to 35, it's too much. So 30. And 5 times 6 is 30. So I write my answer up here. 5 goes into 31 6 times. That was to my divide. Next I do multiply. 5 times 6 is 30. We just did that in the last part. Now I took care of my multiply. 5 times 6 was 30. That was multiply. Now I subtract. Okay. I subtract the 30 from 31. It's easy just looking at it to know that there's only one left. Okay, then brings us to our last stop, which is bring down. We bring down the next number, so now it's a 2. Okay, at this point, we are going to start all over with our steps, and we're going to divide. 5 goes into 12. Well, we know 5 goes in there, 5, 10. If we go to 15, it's too much, so 10 is what we're going to do. 5 times 2 is 10, so first we do our 2 up here, so that's our answer. That's our divide, 5, 1 into 12 two times. Then we multiply. 5 times 2 is 10. That brings us to subtract. 12 minus 10, we have 2 left over. Then the last part, we bring down. Now there's nothing to bring down, so we're left with this 2 with nowhere to go. That becomes our remainder. There's nothing else to do. Our answer is 62, remainder 2. Okay, here's another one. And first thing I tell students is just write down the daddy, mother, sister, brother. It makes it a lot easier if you do that, just so you kind of have a checkoff list. Okay, once you get good at it, you won't have to. So then I start with the division. Can 7 go into 3? No, it can't. So I put a 0 up there to hold the spot. I actually move over to my 33. So now I'm going into 33. Okay. Can 7 go into 33? Let me clear this up a little bit. Yes, it can. Okay, how many times is the question? 7, 14, 21, 28. If I go another one, I get 35, and that's too much. So I'm going to go with 28, which is 7 times 4. I'll put the 4 up here. That's my divide. 7 went into 33 four times. 7 times 4. 28. That was my multiply. Now I need to subtract. Okay. 3 minus 8 I can't do. I need to borrow. Now I have 13 minus 8, which is 5. 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay. I took care of my subtract. Now I need to bring down. Now I have 56. Okay. Now, looking at it, I can go, oh, I know 7 goes into 56 exactly 8 times. Okay, 
So 7, that's my divide. Check. Multiply 7 times 8 is 56. I tell students once you get to this point, to write it out takes a little extra work, but you don't need to. Once you know you've got it in there completely, 7 times 8 is 56. Check. Subtract. Nothing to bring down. So I'm done. And my answer is 48. For the next part, we're going to find the value of n. Now, some of this is very difficult, especially for younger kids. But what you need to know is you have two sides to this equation. The equal sign is kind of like a wall. And you've got one part of your problem and the other part. If you work on one side as much as you can, it'll help you figure out the other side. So the first thing I want to do is I already have this side's already solved. It's 643. There's no problems over there. No add, subtract, multiply, or divide. This side still has some unsolved issues. So I'm going to start with what I know, which is 4 times 160. I can solve that part. So the first thing I'm going to do is do 160, multiply it by 4. 4 times 0 is 4, is 0, sorry. 6 times 4, 24. And 4 times 1 is 4, plus the 2 is 6. 640. Okay. Since this is the part that I was working on, I'm going to take this 640 <laughs> and replace it with that. Now, I have 640 plus n. That makes it a lot easier to look at this and say, for these to be the same, I'm going to have to add 3. And that also tells me that n has to be 3 because 640 plus 3 will equal 643. So n, sorry, I wrote plus, n equals 3. 